Abs has started yet another thread, which I don't wholly understand, but which I feel compelled to join in. Dumb exposition. I'm working on the basis that Abs wouldn't watch my films. Um, I don't know. There's a word for the sort of argument that Abs has, and I can't remember what the term is. I'd have to Google it. I might Google it. It's one of those ridiculous arguments that starts from two things that can't be compared. And Abs does this a lot. It's his little trick to um, try and steer an argument the way he wants. I hope that music's not annoying because I'm going to have to edit so much of this film out and I can hear it and I don't know if the film can. So I'm going to stop and just check. You see, it was annoying. It was too loud. I'm going to film loads tonight and then I have this issue. This is why I haven't made a film for a while actually because I really enjoy making them but I've forgotten already what. Oh yeah, abs, abs and his dumb exposition thread. Oh, it's, it's boring anyway. I've lost interest now already. But I talk a lot and um, the editing and having to try and shrink it down into something under 10 minutes is nigh on impossible. I can't stand the thought of having to restrict myself to under 10 minutes talking. I can't talk for less than 10 minutes. I mean, that would be... That would be something I'd do at the supermarket with the checkout girl, is talk for less than 10 minutes. But I don't talk to anybody for less than 10 minutes. What I thought instead was, I'll just wrap it on as normal for three, four, five hours or whatever, and then I'll just break it into lots and lots of little videos. It's the actual making of it that I find therapeutic. Oh God, that's my phone. Um, it's the actual making that I, I don't know why I'm looking because it's only crappy emails. It's nothing exciting whatsoever. Facebook, so I don't know why I bothered looking. Pavlov's dog, oof, oof. So yes, um, can't do short and um, figured I can do long and just make it short by chopping it up. Um, and I will edit out rubbish. I'll edit out all the smoking. So this bit will probably go anyway. Um, because it's not good smoking on film. Alison Moy is a bit depressing. I might have to play something else. Yeah. It's only 10 o'clock. I don't want to get maudlin at 10 o'clock. I was going to light another cigarette there already. So anyway, yes, well, what, 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 loads of things I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, I exhausted my husband's capacity to listen and he's gone to watch the football. <laughs> Myself in my shed tonight and make a film because I can't write. And he laughed. I said, no, it's serious, I can't write, so... I thought I'd make a film about not being able to write. I'm expecting Martha Wainwright to be sitting on my CD player, and obviously she's not, but I still keep looking. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, it's all in the edit, as always. Talk for about four or five hours. It'll probably, um, a hell of a lot cheaper than therapy. If you can't, if you find you can't write, then what you ought to do is sit down and write, is basically what people say. But I just have no news whatsoever. It's gone completely. It's dead. And I think, well, possibly I should just stop completely for a while and do something else, preferably in the real world. So that's where I'm at. Oh, God, emails. Anyway, I don't know. It's difficult, and I'm sure everybody has the same thing. And they don't come on film to whinge about it. I don't whinge. I don't like whinging. I hate whinging, and I do not like people who whinge. So I don't like whinging myself. And so when I feel really, really pissed off about something, I don't like making a film about it. But I do like making a film about it, you see. Because it cheers me up. And I'll edit out all the really miserable stuff, and I'll just leave the okay stuff in. It's all in the edit, as always.